Hey guys, what is going on? Rigo here with the Noobs, wishing you all a happy new year. And today I'm talking about map voting in COD Modern Warfare 2, whether the game needs it and what it might look like if it eventually gets added. So let's get straight into it. So what is map voting and how does it work? Well, in a number of previous Call of Duty titles, map voting allowed players to have a say over which map they wanted to play next in the multiplayer rotation. Typically, this would appear in the pre-game lobby of multiplayer modes, with the option to vote for one of two maps. So whilst this didn't give players the opportunity to specify the exact map that they wanted to play next, it did offer some flexibility. Previous iterations of COD titles provided alternative ways of choosing the next map as well, with one example being map skipping. This option, seen for example in the original Modern Warfare 2 released back in 2009, gave players in the pre-match lobby the opportunity to skip the map on offer. The system required a certain amount of votes, depending on the amount of players in the lobby, in order to skip. Now what this also didn't do was allow players to choose the next map, but importantly it did allow them to veto the unpopular ones. Everyone who plays Modern Warfare 2 will have a map that they dislike. For example, I am not and have never been a fan of Shipment. I don't like the chaos of it, and I find the constant spawning and dying tiring, but it's all about personal preference. Some players absolutely love Shipment, however, and the dynamic that it offers as well as the ability to do things like level weapons quicker, and that's great, choice is important. Another map that comes to mind as we talk about Modern Warfare 2 is undoubtedly Santa Senna Border Crossing. It has so far proven to be hugely unpopular with the Call of Duty community. Its narrow lanes and build-up of cars, which explode when hit with grenades or projectiles, often killing players close to them, has not gone down well at all. So why not offer players the opportunity to skip past maps like this, or vote for an alternative? Presumably one of the initial concerns is that adding a voting ability has the potential to essentially remove a multiplayer map from the game. And each map that is designed and crafted by developers takes hundreds of hours, so why put all that time in if nobody is going to play it? If a map as unpopular as Border Crossing could be bypassed via a voting system, would anyone ever really play it? Now that's not to say that the map has no fans however. Much like the example I gave with Shipment, I'm sure there's a bunch of players that absolutely love Border Crossing. But even if that were to happen and the map was essentially abandoned, is that really a bad thing? If anything, it's a form of constructive feedback to the developers to say, this kind of map design is not something that the community enjoys, so let's not design a map like this in the future. The voting system would be perfect for this, providing live statistics to the devs to say map X is skipped 70% of the time, or map Y is more popular in TDM than it is in Search and Destroy. These kind of metrics undoubtedly aid game developers in future content creation, aligning map types to game modes and player preference. But with the current setup on Modern Warfare 2, what do we see happen if an unpopular map such as Border Crossing appears? Well, it's basically just a mass evacuation of the pre-game lobby. Moreover, players who get inserted into a lobby mid-game will either quit immediately or play one round and then leave, and this creates frustration for players on both sides. Either you don't have enough teammates to hold an objective, or you're fighting on a team of six against two players. Personally, I feel that a system of players voting for one of two maps would be a sufficient way of providing A, more choice to players, and B, more feedback to the developers, who could then use that to tailor future content towards its dedicated player base. Would this lead to maps becoming extinct? Possibly. But maybe that's what's needed in certain instances to give players a product and experience that they enjoy. But what do you think about map voting, and is it something that you've noticed for its omission in Modern Warfare 2? And if you did want to see map voting come to the game, what format would you like to see it in? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If and when map voting does get announced, we'll have a full guide on how it works and how best to use it. If this video was interesting, or you just enjoy our content in general, then click that sub button and come join our community. We stream every Friday evening, so come join us. Until then, take care guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.